So three AI giants just dropped within 48 hours. ByteDance launched Bagel, a wild new model that doesn't just generate images. It reasons, edits, navigates, and thinks in full multimodal contexts. Then Anthropic came out swinging with Claude 4, an AI that can code for seven hours straight, juggling tools like it's running an entire dev team solo. And right in the middle of it all, Mistral dropped Devstral, a monster open source coding model trained to chew through real GitHub issues and beat out some of the biggest closed systems. So three drops in two days, Bagel, Claude 4, Devstral. Everything's moving again, so let's talk about it Let's kick off with Bagel, because that announcement hit first on May 20th. ByteDance calls it a unified multimodal model, which basically means one network juggles language, images, video frames, even web data, instead of stapling separate subsystems together. The core engine is a mixture of Transformer Experts, MALT for short, with 7 billion active parameters out of a 14 billion total count. ByteDance bolted on two different encoders. One chews on raw pixels, the other tracks semantic cues. So Bagel sees both the fine-grained texture of an image and the higher-level idea of what's in it. Pre-training wasn't modest either. Trillions of interleaved tokens spanning texts, stills, clips, memes, you name it. That's why the dev team says the model can think across modalities. It literally predicts the next group of tokens, whether those tokens describe words or visual patches. Day one demos looked pretty spicy. Someone dropped in a snapshot of Michelangelo's David and Bagel casually rattled off the statue's history, its Renaissance context, even where it's housed at the Academia in Florence. That same prompt stream flipped straight into generation mode. The model pumped out a photorealistic scene of three antique potion bottles labeled SDXL, Bagel, and Flux with correct reflections and old glass imperfections, without needing instruction about lens choice or lighting. Then came editing. A clip showed a man squatting to pat a dog, and Bagel rewrote the action into new frames, keeping the pose consistent while avoiding jitter. Style transfer? It took a 2D cosplay photo and re-rendered it in a crisp 3D animated look after a single change to 3D line. It even did navigation. After watching 0.4 seconds of a video, the model predicted the next forward step for a virtual camera. All that sits under what ByteDance calls its thinking mode, where the model actually writes an internal chain of thought between think tags, refines the prompt, then starts drawing. So you get fewer random artifacts and more coherent scenes, like that wild composite of hundreds of toy cars forming a life-sized sedan now numbers. On the visual understanding board, Bagel hit an MMME score of 2,388. Edged past Quen 2.5 VL on MM Bench with 85.0. Landed 55.3 on MMMU, 67.2 on MM Vet, and pulled 73.1 on the new Math Vista reasoning test. Generation quality is equally solid. Genival climbs to 0.88 when you let Bagel think while Wise bumps to 0.70, which puts it shoulder to shoulder with Specialized Diffusion Behemoth. Editing? G-Edit Bench shows 7.36 for single condition prompts and a 44.0 on Intelligent Bench. With Chain of Thought, that last score jumps to 55.3, a real testament to the reasoning, then render workflow. During ablation, Mixing VAE and VIT features turned out to be the secret sauce. Drop either and intelligent editing tanks. If you want to run it locally, the quick star is right in the repo. Conda environment on Python 3.10, snapshot underscore download from Hugging Face with the 7B moch checkpoint, then crack open inference.ipynb and you're good for generation dials. CFG underscore text underscore scale around four to eight locks the model to your prompt. CFG underscore image underscore scale at one to two, preserve source detail during edits, and CFG underscore interval. Think of it as how long you keep classifier free guidance engaged, defaults to the 0.4 to 1.0 window. Tweak tempstick underscore shift if you need cleaner layout versus sharper details, and play with 60-ish total temps. <laughs> it's all in the readme, but those knobs matter. 
Two days later, Anthropic dropped Claude 4 to siblings, Opus 4 and Sonnet 4, and these folks aimed squarely at the coding crowd. Opus 4 storms the SWE Bench Verified Leaderboard with 72.5%, owns Terminal Bench at 43.2%, and claims the title of world's best coding model. Sonnet 4, which costs less compute, actually ekes out 72.7 on SWE Bench but trades a little depth for latency. Both models are hybrid, they can spit back near instant paragraphs or slip into extended thinking that reasons across up to 64,000 tokens calling external tools in the middle of a thought chain. So you might see Claude Google something, summarize a PDF it found, update its plan and continue without you poking it. The coolest bit is endurance. Anthropic's internal tests ran Opus 4 for nearly seven hours straight on a single goal. Think audit a code base, patch bugs, update docs, without fresh human prompts. CNN's write-up framed it as an almost full workday of uninterrupted AI labor. Anthropic's product lead, Scott White, spun it like this. Let the model grind through the 30% of your day nobody finds thrilling, so you can handle the creative piece. And they have receipts. Cursor calls Opus 4 state-of-the-art for complex multi-failure refactors. Replit says precision shot way up. Rakuten let the model hammer on an open source refactor for seven solid hours and it still held context. Cognition's evaluation claims Opus 4 tackles challenges that stump other models. Tooling support is thick. Developers now get a code execution tool, an MCP connector, a files API, and prompt caching knobs so you're not burning tokens on identical system prompts every minute. Claude Code exits preview and ships straight into VS Code and JetBrains plugins. Edits appear inline, so you accept or reject them like a human teammate's patch. In the terminal, the same agent can spin up GitHub actions runs or respond to PR comments. Under the hood, both models got a discipline check shortcut time behavior where an LLM tries a loophole instead of the intended workflow dropped by 65% compared to Sonnet 3.7. Pricing sticks to anthropic tradition. Opus 4 remains 15 bucks per million input tokens and 75 per million output. Sonnet 4 sits at 3 and 15. The usual Pro, Max, Team, and Enterprise tiers include the extended thinking toggle. Free users even get Sonnet 4's core mode, which is kind of nuts. For transparency, Anthropic now compresses the chain of thought with a smaller model in about 5% of cases, but devs can apply for developer mode to see raw reasoning when needed. Safety got its own bullet time montage. Anthropics labels the new duo ASL3 compliant, smelling salts for enterprises that fear runaway tools. Both models are live on the Anthropic endpoint, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Vertex AI. And yes, the developer plugins are already shipping. Run a single command in VS Code or JetBrains and Claude Code shows edits right in your files, no copy paste needed. Fire it up in a GitHub action and the agent will comment on PR feedback, chase failing tests and push patches to a branch. It feels less like a chat bot bolted to the side of the repo and more like a junior engineer who never takes a coffee break. Now, wedged neatly between those two announcements came something from Paris. On May 21st, Mistral AI and All Hands AI unveiled Destral. 24 billion parameters, Apache 2.0 license, and a 128,000 token window. The whole brief screams open source agent for real software engineering, not code completion toys. Baining wasn't just RLHF on doc strings, the team piped Destral through actual GitHub issues inside agent scaffolds like Open Hands and SWE Agent which forced the model to read stack traces, locate the bad file, write a patch, rerun the tests, and iterate until green. That curriculum explains why SWE Bench Verified jumps to 46.8%, six full points higher than the next open model, and hilariously, 20 points above GPT 4.1 Mini when that tiny proprietary sibling is forced through the same harness because the weights are public. You can grab them from Hugging Face, Olama, Kegel, LM Studio, or Unsloth if you want quantized flavors. If local hardware is your thing, a single RTX 4090 or an M series Mac with 32 gigs handles it. If cloud is easier, Mistral's endpoint desk structural small 2505 builds at 10 cents per million input tokens, 30 cents output, 
matching Mistral small 3.1 enterprises that need private fine tuning or a distillation into even lighter models can ping Mistral's applied AI team, the same open philosophy, just pay for the consulting hours. The bigger story is context stability. Because Devstril can swallow an entire monorepo in one go, it keeps variable scope, import paths, and architectural patterns in working memory. Early community tests show the model hopping through 40 or 50 files without losing track of variable names and still writing indentation perfect patches. It even reads markup like XML or HTML templates, which means it can adjust a Django config in the corresponding Jinja view in one reasoning burst. And because the license is so permissive, university teams and indie IDE plugin authors are already hacking it into local co-pilots that run entirely offline. The release video shows a coder with no internet toggling an open hands panel, selecting a failing test and watching Devstrel rewrite the function right inside VS code before saving. No tokens leave the laptop. Mistral, in case you missed the origin story, was founded in April 2023 by Arthur Mensch, Guillaume Lamplay, and Timothy LaCroix. They've been shipping open weight checkpoints on a six month cadence. Mistral, small, codestral, now destral, Venture money keeps flowing, but they still grant Apache licenses and push metal kernels for MacBooks. That combination, transparency on weights, permissive legal wrapper and hardware frugality has turned them into the EU's favorite counterbalance to US cloud giants. So there you have it, three releases, each stretching a different muscle. Bagel lets a single decoder talk pros, paint frames, reshape video, and even chart navigation steps. Claude 4 holds a conversation for hours, flipping in-house tools and leaving breadcrumb memory files so it can resume work after lunch. Devstrel shows that an open agent trained in the act of fixing real GitHub tickets can beat much larger closed models on the exact tasks developers care about, all while running on hardware you can stick under your desk. So here's what I'm wondering, did we just see the start of AI models specializing harder than ever? Or are we heading toward one system that just does everything better than you? Drop your take in the comments, I'm reading all of them, and if you've already got one of these models running, let me know how it's holding up. If you liked this, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.